In this video, I will show you an example of complex power. This will be the first example out of three examples. Determine the complex power, apparent power, average power, reactive power, power factor, including whether it is leading or lagging. Load impedance for a circuit whose voltage and current at its input terminals are given by Vt equal to 100 cosine 37070 minus 30 degree volt and current it equal to 2.5 cosine 370t minus 60 degree ampere c from the theory of complex power we know that if we can determine the complex power in an ac circuit we can determine apparent power apparent power reactive power and power factor and we can also say whether the power factor is leading or lagging by looking at the value of reactive power q if Q is equal to 0, that means the power factor is unity. If Q is less than 0, that means the power factor is leading. And if Q is greater than 0, the power factor will be lagging or the circuit will be inductive circuit. And we calculate the load impedance by dividing RMS value of voltage with the RMS value of current. Now I will solve the problem. Here we have Vt equal to 100 cosine. 370 minus 30 degree volt. If I compare this voltage equation with standard sinusoidal voltage equation V t equal to 100 cosine omega t plus 5 e, I will get Vm is equal to 100 volt. Angular frequency omega is equal to 377 radian per second and initial phase or phase angle of voltage equal to 30 degree minus 30 degree okay now see if i compare this it with standard sinusoidal current equation it equal to i m cosine omega t plus phi i i will get the maximum value of current i m equal to 2.5 ampere omega is equal to 377 radian per second and phi i current phase angle will be minus 60 degree okay if i know the value of vm and phi v we know rms voltage pressure v rms is equal to vm 5 v over root 2 here vm is equal to 100 and 5 v is equal to minus 30 degree volt if i express this in rectangular form i will get 61.24 minus j 35.3 volt we can also calculate the rms current phasor i rms that is equal to i m over root 2 here phase angle phi i i m is equal to 2.5 phase angle is minus 60 degree ampere so this will be equal to 0.8 8 3 minus j 1.53 ampere okay now see to calculate the complex power we have to take the conjugate of this irms so conjugate of irms will be equal to irms prime that will be equal to 0 0.883 plus j 1.53 ampere now see we have this v rms i rms prime so we can calculate the complex power of the circuit complex power S will be equal to V RMS into I RMS prime. 
here VRMS is equal to 61.24 minus J thirty five point three six into zero point eight eight three minus j one point five three so if I multiply these two I will get one zero eight point two five plus j sixty two point five volt ampere or 125 phase angle plus 30 degree volt ampere this is known as p plus jq form of complex power and this is known as magnitude s phi s form of complex power now see this is our complex power in rectangular form or p plus jq form and this is our complex power in polar form now see if I compare this complex power with P plus JQ form you will see P will be 108.25 and Q will be equal to 62.5 here you will see Q is positive okay so the P will indicate the real power or average power and that will be equal to 108.25 watt and we express this with P and this is the power that will be absorbed in the circuit and you will see the reactive power Q will be equal to plus 62.5 bar as Q is positive so in this circuit the power factor is lagging therefore the circuit is inductive now see if I compare complex power with this equation you will see the magnitude of S will be 125 and while discussing the complex power I told you that magnitude of complex power will be our apparent power apparent power capital S without vector sign or magnitude of S vector this will be equal to 125 volt ampere okay this is our apparent power now see this is our complex power angle complex power angle is phi s which indicates the power factor angle phi v minus phi i here it is equal to plus 30 degree now see in the question we are asked to calculate the complex power i i have calculated complex power apparent power average power reactive power we indicated the power factor will be lagging as Q is positive now we will calculate power factor we know the value of power factor angle which is equal to 30 degree therefore our power factor is cosine phi s complex power angle or cosine phi v minus phi i or cosine 30 degree and that will be equal to 0 0.866 and power factor is lagging we can also calculate the power factor by dividing real power P with apparent power S yes. 
real power is equal to one zero eight point two five watt and apparent power is one twenty five volt ampere this will indicate zero point eight six six okay so power factor is equal to zero point eight six six you can use this formula or this formula to calculate the power factor finally we have to calculate the load impedance we know that in a circuit the impedance z is the ratio of rms voltage to rms current here i vrms is equal to 61.24 minus j 35 Point three six and IRMS is equal to zero point eight eight three minus J one point five three ampere. So here the impedance will be equal to thirty four point six seven plus j 20 ohm if i compare the load impedance with equation r plus j x in the circuit the total reactance will be 20 ohm and the total resistance will be 34.67 ohm okay that's it thank you